Hey everyone, it's Todd. I wanted to jump on here and give you a little context to what you're going to hear. You may have heard in past episodes that we talked about that Sean could not participate in something that the three of us love to do, and that's drinking beer. We love to get together, have a good time as friends, drink some beers, talk about these movies we love. He couldn't participate because he was doing some tests and the doctors had him holding off, so... The next episode is when Sean could finally drink again. So listen, you're going to hear the dude get a little silly, a little wild. And because of that, the structure of the show kind of goes off the rails at times. And that's my fault as the one that hosts it. Um, bear with us. I promise after a little bit, and, and I think it's pretty funny, but after a little bit, we do get on course and we do talk about the minute. But again, just a little context. I hope you enjoy. On today's Minute of the Apes, it doesn't matter that Watchmen uh, came out late whenever it was supposed to be on time. Just like these episodes. He means the comic. The comic, not the movie or, or the, the new Damon TV Lindelof show. Or the TV show. Yeah. Is that going to be oh, late? I'm so confused. Oh, we have to do a minute uh, in between it about that. Might be lost. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> We are determined to know what the apes want, war or peace. The only good human is a dead human. The only good human is a dead human. Hello and welcome to Minute of the Apes, a daily podcast where we break down every minute of the Planet of the Apes movies. <laughs> there we go. And also wait for Richard to do his version of dad jokes. We're it, throwing it lost. And it, it, it took me about just half a second. I went, boy, that was really smart. You get the applause for the day. Wait, Thank wait. You. Do you mean smart as an intelligent joke or smart as in he was smart for making the joke? Yes. Okay. <laughs> So did dad jokes become like a really trendy to use like the last little bit, like the last like maybe three or four years? I think so. I think, I think there's a little more play yeah, to it I now. Think okay, it yeah. just became bad jokes became dad jokes. Right, right. Yeah, yeah exactly. I just started to get full sensitive because it was always directed at me. No, no, that's just because you make bad jokes, oh. dad. You know, the, dad. I, I don't ever do too many dad jokes being a dad. But I did, like when my kid gets stressed because she hates them so much, I actually have a website that I go to and find dad jokes and I tell them to her and she's like, stop it. And I'm like, I'm, you're not stressed anymore, are you? I mean, I don't have a problem. about it. Does, does, she, does she laugh at your humor quite a bit or does she kind of like Or is it groaning? No, Abby and I really share a sense of humor. It, it's her mother that she looks at and goes, oh my God. So wait, is that 50% of her humor going... You dad. <laughs> well, so as a teenager, if you share it, as a teenager, there there is a huge handful of "you're so stupid" that goes along with anything I say. But then she also runs to me. You know, she's again, she is my mini me. But you, yeah, no matter what, as a teenager, you get a lot of bullshit. Hey, this parenting talk oh, today. Uh, uh, Richard is being very cute by handing me a <laughs> beer very quietly, and I don't know why he's doing that because I'm just going to do this at this point now. Oh, yeah. By the way, those Problem of you that off. don't know, we drink beer usually. Well, it, it's been two and a half months. Yeah, Sean yeah. had to have a little test because you're having a an liver issue. Test. Yes. And he hasn't been able to drink. So if he ends up drunk by at the end of this episode, I'll be driving him home. There we go. <laughs> and driving yourself back. Either that or we'll just leave him here, right? There we go. <laughs> he can help me on new comic book day tomorrow. Thank you, yeah. Thor. <laughs> let me sleep on you. He might piddle in the corner. Is that okay? Can we mop Captain that America up? Shield, <laughs> let me lay upon you. Okay, again. <laughs> Gross. All right, we're on to minute 57. Sean, tell us what's going on. All right, we're starting minute 57. Minute here. Yeah. See, there it is. There it, it is. is. See? Two beers it's in. Only been, it's only been Tuesday. Yeah. Astrimination. Uh, we're going to start minute. <laughs> a benistra- a beerstration. We're going to start minute 57 with Dr. Hasline asking Dr. Brixen. Brixen. <laughs> Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Remember, I uh, we talked about <laughs> this, <laughs> we talked about this before. This is why you can eat dick. I mean, shits and not dick. <laughs> Damn it! Everything is wrong. Uh, okay, I'm I'm really sorry. Those of you that came from Planet of the Apes, it's just a lot of fun. Planet of the Drunks. I was waiting for the point. At 
we start minute 57 with Dr. Hassline asking Dr. Dixon to be good enough to administer this to the female and ends with Dr. Dixon escorting Zira into another room. Be good enough to administer this to the female. Well, why? What is it? Sodium pentothal. One half gram IV. Uh, Dr. Hassline, I'm an animal psychologist. And a qualified vet, Dr. Dixon. You have the commission's authority. And that of the president? Please. Zira, I've uh, been asked to give you an injection that's going oh, to put you... Oh, you can't to... use that. We only use those things for killing. Killing? No, th th this is not for killing, Cornelius. This is for relaxing. It won't harm her. Will it harm my baby? No, no, it won't. So, Zira, if you would uh, just come with me, please. Oh, no, Lewis, Lewis, you can't use that on I Zira. I promise you, Cornelius. Please take him to his quarters. No, really. But, uh, Lewis, you... Uh, no, you mustn't. You... Uh, Zira... Sierra, please. <laughs> Is it really possible that after three months your tolerance for alcohol has gotten that low? It's quite possible. It's a possibility. I started. I wondered because in the last episode he slurred a couple of words, and I thought, Dixon, no, Dixon. what? Hey, Dixon, uh, don't Dixon. All right, Dixon. Here, here's the warning before the end of the Ooh. week. This may just be chaos by the time we get to minute 60. Oh, Richard and I will do our best to hold on. <laughs> well, I think we finished this minute. All right. All right. Let's, what? We haven't finished the minute. Well, we I mean, in length. It, I'm in, in length. Do it's it. already gone now, like half an hour at this point. <laughs> it's only five minutes. In. Okay. Okay. So, so here we go. Minute, yeah. Basically, here's the minute. Let me let me say this. This minute, because we bring I in. I have to tell what's going on now. Oh, okay. Yeah. How many people are still left alive? We haven't even got to the listening to the minute point. Hey, Todd, hostess, what's going on? <laughs> All right, so we get to the moment. Here we are. Dixon's in the room. Things are about to turn cool. And we all, we right away see Cornelius' eyes shifting around as the action yeah. ensues. Roddy at least plays the moment being the foremost, the foremost uh, one of our protagonists here where we see him Wait, knowing something's not happening. Wait, did we play the minute of the audio in between yet? We did. Yeah. Oh, how did I miss that? That was the whole, like, Sean, stop. that's your last beer. Uh, God no. Damn it. He's got a whole six-pack. I'm kidding. Oh. You think right. I'm going to give him mine? I, him I haven't put the Friday. whole... We're, we're in a whole planet of humans and two men of the eight. We haven't done that yet. Then do it. You, you, uh, that's usually, we start minute 57. I mean, we have not done that yet. Yes, start, I did. I pointed to you, and we came back. Did I, I say that? Daddy are fighting. All right. Okay. Hi, everybody. This is Minute of the Apes, the daily podcast where we break down every minute of the Planet of the Apes movies. One minute hey, at a time. We're doing I'm, Minute 57. You've already listened to it. And I'm here is what... Here. What's this minute about, Sean? Uh, it's Minute 57. We got Dr. Hassline. All right. We're okay. Done it. And we got two apes. And there's a kid out there and somewhere. All that bullshit. <laughs> and a man with three people under his suit. And we got Nala there. walking. Look look oh, over there real quick. Oh, oh, oh. We got a new oh, bed for Nala. No, hang on, hang want, on. I don't want your dog here on, on your... Uh, I don't care about no, that. No, I want to see if she case. makes a bed over there. I just don't want her to pee in it. No. Not, oh, 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 Hard, pl hard shell plastic well, cases for my board and all that as a bed. And she's bored with that bed. Yeah, she didn't work for us. So no, anyway, work. here right, we sorry. are. We know what, what what all has happened. We've listened to the minute. We've now got Dixon coming in the room. Right away, as I, I watch this scene. Oh, I got a whole big bunch of notes here if you want it. You ready? <laughs> what do you, what do you, what what do you see when you watch a scene? Then tell me, because I got a paragraph of shit for you. <laughs> All right, sure. Here we go. Go. Um, what is Dr. Dixon administrating to her? Sodium administrating? Is what, what is he giving to her? Sodium pentanol. Pen so, pentothal. Like One heroin. This is, I went to the... Um, the hero within. I went to Wikipedia yeah. to find out about sodium pentothal. It says, like heroin. If that's your first statement... We know what we're in for. It's not good for is your Is that baby. sort of like a, the, the... What's that term when you immediately jump to comparing to Hitler? Uh, the um, there's some effect. No, there's some syndrome or something. I know. I told. It, it I think I did it. this uh, yeah. a couple of weeks ago and told you about that. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah. This is the most disjointed episode of this 
podcast we've ever so done. So I want to know what sodium so pentothal. Sodium pentothal before I want to know what it. Began. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sean is telling us all about it. Go, Sean. All right, you ready? Yeah. It's like heroin. <laughs> it's a brand name. Okay. Oh, really? It was manufactured and trademarked by Abitol Laboratories. Abitol. It's sodium pentothal is a name. It's a barbiturate, a drug that acts on the central nervous system, which it depresses to calm anxiety, induce drowsiness, uh, drowsiness, eliminate pain, and sometimes entirely knock someone out. This may not be why it's become fa- world famous. Sodium pentothal made its name in detective, spy, and pulp movies, where it's famously used as a truth serum. Novelists weren't making it up. Psychiatrists and police officers both swore by it in the first half of the 20th century, by which its powers were in fact, and also its fiction, and it's still debated. So, it's supposed to be stuff that makes you talk weird, but not really. I think I've heard that before, described as Sonny Pentothal, that it wasn't an actual... It's true it serum, an but true serum, but it was really guess what? Kind of it makes you tell kind of yeah. what you think is truth, not necessarily what is the truth. Could they just the, not have gotten Diana's golden lasso? Maybe. Well, there you go. Well, there were, but the, I'll be honest. I'll, there's a lot of psychotropic drugs out there that you give somebody that would make them just tell whatever you want. Yeah, oh, whatever yeah. you, you want. Does, you whatever you want doesn't... What you want. But whatever you want doesn't mean the truth. True, but it's, yeah, sodium pentothal wouldn't necessarily make them tell the truth. So with all, it the, would just relax them. Make I'm, them I'm on heroin. It doesn't mean I'm telling you, you the truth. It means I'm telling <laughs> you what I believe. Is. <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, I mean besides the beer. Um, so oh. the the thing about this scene that kind of hits me is odd is that you know he comes in and and the way that that uh, Hassan begins to talk about administering. You want to talk about all the different shots where it takes too long for somebody to walk and cars to come and go. The fact that it is such a focal point of the scene and we never get a, a, a close up of it, of, of opening yeah. a case and taking it out. No, I mean, of, of, fluid of, ready, of fooling, do that little squirt yeah, you don't with get the water those kind of coming out to build the tension of it. Well, no, true, but he the 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 setup is that he's turning from his desk because he's clearly he's got something hidden. Mm-hmm. That's what he's pulling from his desk, right? So he's got basically a vial. He's also got the uh, hypodermic needle. <laughs> yes, that's just wrapped in a paper towel. Like yeah. as a germaphobe, I was like, "Where's the casing for that? Was that reused? Was it, who, was there another ape that he yeah, used?" Yeah, it's on not hygienic at all. Are yeah, you are free- you a germaphobe? Well, I mean, I didn't not, know that about you. Not really, but I mean, oh, okay. in this particular instance, I you know, I don't share needles. Um, <laughs> well, I thought in general you didn't, but well, <laughs> so anyway. But just so you know, yeah, uh, the script instruction says direction says the cotton contains a charged hypodermic. The so cotton, the, sh- the cotton. So, um, like uh, the sorry, let me go back. Yeah. Uh, da- Hasline is holding something wrapped in cotton, which he hands to Lewis. The cotton contains a charged hypodermic. So Dane had already intended for the needle to be uh, ready Aggressive, to go. Right there, right. And, and I get it. And once again, we're shooting a film in six weeks. You got to crank through this. But you, even with shooting just coverage and stage scenes, you could still have him in the action. Pulling it. it just it says a lot more if he's actually filling the hypodermic with something or squirting and, it or whatever. Right. Yeah, to I make mean, it anything like that that he's an active participant in uh, drugging her. Yeah. So so he he gives him the the uh, sodium pentothal one half a gram IV. Uh, Lewis says, Doctor Hasline, I'm not an animal psychiatrist, and it was really this is the first time that I've actually seen Hasline get kind of aggressive. He was very kind of uh, uh, it says curtly in the script, but and it qualified that. Do we have the commission's authority and that of the president? Like it was very – he was so like yeah, suddenly and, aggressive and I had, passive. I had a note here. Why didn't they just get a, a administered vet tech to take care of that or something? And if and, he's so concerned about that, get somebody that's lesser than him but that actually can do it to take care of he it. He might think that it would – I mean there's two scenarios here. One, Hassline is thinking that – uh, having Dixon administer it would calm Zira for the process. Or yeah. he could be thinking, uh, if I have um, Dixon, I now have something to play against for this conversation and might get information out of Dixon as well. But they don't play it like that. I mean, you, don't. Yeah, yes, that makes sense entirely. What you're saying is probably with the thought of why he's here, but they don't play it. They don't play that at all. I mean, there's nothing about it. If anything, I what I... I mean, what I with, find odd is that Dixon acquiesces so quickly to it. There's, I was. I was surprised by that. Yeah, We see so. nothing that propels him to change from, hey, I'm this, I'm taking care of them. We shouldn't be doing this. You know, are they t- 
torturing Stevie over in the other corner and we don't see that? Well, I mean, I, something. I just had a note. Why didn't they just get a zero drunk again and question her instead of worrying about injections or anything like that? But we, just we talked give about her um, happy, the, you know, the grape, grape juice, juice plus, plus well, we, and we, then it's fine. We, yeah. we t-